when we were filming the pilot of Reservation Dogs and uh, it was like the third or fourth day that we were filming and everything had been going really smooth and we were like, oh my God. And then the scene came up um, where it was the memorial for Daniel. That was actually unexpectedly like hard for me. You know, like that was not just, they were like, all right, action, cut, all right, bye guys. Like they were like, when we were tearing up, they were like there for us. Sterling was there for us, you know, like that's our community, that's what we do. It's a bunch of Nguyenhue, it's a bunch of Indians sitting around like collectively mourning, but also celebrating our family members and our community members. It felt really good and like hearing everyone, like what they had to say about it, it like, healing in a way. And we had smudged and we um, had shared experiences that each of us have, have gone through with each other. Our youth, we have one of the most highest suicide rates and like you're doing it for like those kids, you know, makes me feel good. Doesn't really make me like feel that sad anymore. Like it feels like that I'm doing something about it. How what I did is enough, you know, to help someone heal like that. If it's true, and then like, that's amazing, you know, but I want to do more. You know what I mean? This, like, me just acting is helping you, you know what I mean? Like, I want to do more as the pharaoh, not just as bear. I just thought about everyone in my community and what they've been through because, like, not a lot of people know what, like, us as Native people, like, go through that much. And, like, to put it on screen, it was, like, felt really good. Well, how the show healed me, and I can only talk about me, I never lost a best friend like that, but I have lost close family members for the same reason, you know? And that sucks. No matter if I cried like that on freaking TV, like I'm doing it for like my people, like, you know? Only because it's reservation dogs and we're telling a story that's real. The Mabel episode actually does hit pretty close to home with me um, because recently, right before we started filming the episode, my grandma passed away. And, um, and this episode deals with Laura's grandma passing away. You don't like me, do you? I don't. I'm not supposed to. But life is short. Maybe you're not as bad as persons we thought. I mean, you're here. Here because my aunt made me. No, you're not. I loved Mabel's episode. It's my favorite episode so far. You know what I mean? And it's because that's how we treat, that's how we deal and grief with death, you know, like we're very much a community and we'll stay like a community, you know. Whenever someone passes, it's always nice to be around those who are close to you. And as we are with Native and Native culture, we, we all come together to, to go, go through with our grief and our loss. And, and I think that really helps and it's really true to, to real life. In the episode of like Wide Net with Auntie's Night Out. And you see the fantasy sequence of of Rita and Teeny and Bev and like all of the characters coming together and their like 90s fantasy of them being in like music video and then you see all the aunties from the conference come and join them and all these native people like celebrating and laughing and I was behind the monitor and I was just like, I, I couldn't help it. I just like burst into tears because I was like, I've never seen this before. We looked at each other and we were like, what do you mean? Nobody's being murdered in this? Nobody's gone fucking missing? Like, what are you talking about? We're actually allowed to like be this unapologetically happy on screen?
You okay? I finally snagged. I was just so heartened to see that we had finally been given an opportunity on a platform like this to, to share our stories and also to, for them to be for our communities and to be received by our communities. And it's that element of truth that I, that I think ends up resonating with people because it's real, it's real for all of us. The time is now, can you give it all you got to give? Can you handle all the pressure to the top to win? Will your knees start to give or will you drop your chin?